What is up, YouTube and Facebook? Today, I'm going to do a breakdown of Weak Eye Twins. So this is a really cool set. It's kind of like, you can think of this set as kind of like a single back, except the tight end's in the backfield, like a ace big, except that full back is a tight end, or that tight end is a full back and he's in the backfield. So your main run is going to be this halfback blast. It's a great run. Um, if they start pressing a lot, there's a wheel route that you can hit this wide receiver in. Uh, I've got it set up like this. These top three plays are not audibles. They're the plays you call besides the audible. The audibles are read fullback flat, halfback blast, deep comeback, and PA boot slide. And I've only got nine plays in here, but they're good a good nine plays, so... PA fullback flood's gonna gonna be what you call when they're in man a lot and hit that out route. In case they're in zone, you got a post there. You can also put square on a slant or something, whatever you want to do. But let's take a look. Here's, you, you'll come out and half back lead. You're gonna look. You're gonna count. All right. Technically, we got three guys on the right side of the defense and three linemen, but the fullback's not gonna block anybody over there. I mean, you could start, you could play this whole little mind game where you move this guy all over. But I like to just leave him right where he is. So let's leave him right where he is and let's run it. I'll show you what it looks like. This is not a great run, but it's serviceable. What you're going to do, you're going to, first you're going to count, all right. You got three guys on the right, three on the left. Seven all together. Okay. Five line, five offensive linemen, one tight end, and one fullback. So that corner sitting over there, so automatically you know you're going to audible to the halfback blast because nobody's over there. They've got four. It's four on three over there, so we're going to run the blast. And you got to watch that linebacker. that He doesn't always get picked up. Okay, I'm going to run the lead. Oops, sorry. Go back to the lead. All right, there, now the computer's changing. When you see a lot of that, you can go to this. Look at that post or that corner getting wide open. It's a great play. It looks like the blast. So let's run it. That time, he was going outside, so we only got a couple yards. Let's take a look at your main. This is going to be one of your main plays. They look very similar. I like... I like this one for the comeback. I mean, you can always put him on a comeback on this route, but look, it's an option route. So in the, with a post on the other side. So we're gonna throw. There's he ran that he it was man to man it looked like so he ran the out. He either runs, he either stops for zone or runs out for man. Let's run the lead. Oh, we should have went more outside. We would have got way more yards. Hey, the blast is there. There's the blast working on, working to its finest. Run the lead one more time. So you have to kind of force it to the outside. It's kind of designed to go about where that <coughs> tap, that right tackle is. But after you do this enough, I'll probably find a way to you, this is probably not something you can run all game but you could probably run it for a quarter or two before they start really figuring out how to stop it some of the better players will probably stop it after a quarter or two at the most but it's something you could run for a few drives at least this whole concept so the play action is this right here and i mean you can i don't really make any change to it i haven't taken this on i think i've played with this online years ago but then oh i got sacked they had a good D on it. Run the lead. If they start bringing their safety up, can do this. And hit that corner. So let's look at the plays that are not audibles. We've got the PA flood. Let's take a look at that. One more. I would like to. I I normally practice against four three run on running plays, or I just match whatever how many blockers I have with how many men should be in the box 
Actually, let me put this back to the side. Uh, I like leaving square like he is, just so I can get it. Guys will press and control the safety, and you get a deep ball on them. I like to put the tight end like that, because here's the difference. This is what the run looks like normally. It looks kind of like the blast. It really does. Or you can do this, and it looks like he's going after that linebacker, and you hit that out right on man. Basically, during the play action, you're going to read that post. Not there, hit the out. That's that play. Very simple play to pick up and run. We'll run it like it's designed one more time. Hit the post. That's the PA flood. Now let's look at the wide receiver in. This is a, it's got a wheel route in it. I like wheel routes. I don't love them. You can throw picks on them if it's man. You don't do it just right. Uh, but man can work on post routes. We got a good dig for uh we got a dig route right there for that's a good dig route from it'll work on man or zone or anything i've been doing this uh blocking him and sometimes i send x long sometimes i sometimes i go like this and send him long sometimes i just leave him on that i'll probably send him long here just for demonstration oh i got a blitz through there that's a little funny. I had like two guys block. I had seven. I had seven blockers, and they got. A, I want to see the replay on that. Seven blockers, and they got a blitz in there. That got that lineman. That defensive end came in. Um, that's how the computer cheats. He literally just got by three guys. Nice. Okay, let's look at it. Uh, you. To read this, your first read is going to be that tight end. You can find out if it's man or zone if somebody's following him real quick. Okay, it's zone. Another sack with two guys blocking. Come on, game. Quit cheating me. All right, here we go. Another sack. There might be a glitch with this play. Let me, let me just not even. Let me put him on a. There we go. There we go. I guess I had too many... Okay, I'm going to try that again and see if I get sacked again. Okay, nobody came through that time. But that was the dig. Basically, you're going to send him long. I would, maybe you should have blew right him because there might be a glitch or something where you get, the guy gets through there automatically if you block the fullback and the running the halfback. First read the tight end and see if you can sneak in the quickie on his own. Okay, it's man. There's the dig. And I'll show you a little bit of the... I'll show you the wheel route real quick. See, that's what I mean by the wheel. I mean, some people can, are really good at doing it. I'm not. If you can throw man against wheels, no, go for it. I can not I can do it. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. It's just really kind of kind of iffy for me. Wheel route got open. I'm gonna run like it's designed. I'm gonna run it with the tight end running the drag because I noticed that if they're running a lot of cover two, that post will get open probably. But if they're running like cover three, then you you may want to hit the drag. There's the drag or the uh, the dig. I think that's an unbumpable dig too. Yeah, it looks like it's unbumpable. Let's run it one more time. Hit the post. Oh. If I would have hit that earlier. Dig. I just, I need to run this a few more times to get more comfortable running it. But, uh, something, something to practice. If you already get it well out, you're probably good at that play. And let's see, we've got... <clears throat> The deep comeback. This is one of my favorite plays. Terrific play right here. 
I like to put him on a comeback. Blue, blue the back. First reads the comeback. Or the curl. I guess you change it to a curl if you want. I like a curl. That was open like Dick. That was open along with the com the uh, curl. And you just if if the come if the curl or comeback is covered, the post may be open. You look for that. So, all right. Let's see what else we got. We got another. Those two are your audibles. I wish they weren't both. I wish those players are so similar that I wish they weren't both the audible, but. That's the way it worked out. I like both of them. Maybe I need to just pick one to keep. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this one. But I do like the option route. It's a stick route by the uh, the tight end on the other play. But this is interesting. Because he runs. It's a corner, but he fakes a post. So. Come back. It's a curl. Okay, I'll start looking at I'm gonna look other places but your first reads probably gonna be the curl a lot of times see if they're giving you that up giving that to you or not post that post this is one of the greatest greatest posts in the game and there's similar stuff Ugh. but it's got this. I should have blocked the bag and I like the fullback going in the flat he's a pretty good option because if the comeback is covered in a zone, the fullback's probably not going to be covered. See, the fullback's not covered. Didn't get much there, but if I would have deciphered that sooner, I would have got more. Post is there. Let's look at that x right a little bit. Let's check it out. I don't. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. Let's look at it versus man. Two man, we'll do two man under. We'll, we'll look at nickel three, three, five. Random play. Oh yeah, we're gonna look at two man under, I forgot. <clears throat> I called the wrong play. Hold on. That's how similar they look. We're we'll running nickel for the five cover two man. We're gonna see how well X gets open on man. Not too open. I like this play a lot, but I don't like X. Maybe you might want to just put him on an out route, but I don't. Maybe you can sneak it in quick. Let's see. Let's see if we can sneak it in quick. That is something you can do quick. I think. If there's no linebackers in the middle of the field, you might be able to squeeze that in. But for the purpose of staying, you know, whatever, I would say go ahead and leave Malone and put him on the out. But that's that play. And now we're going to get into the deeper plays now, the ones that are like kind of eh. Okay, fullback dive. Fullback dive is great now, but you can only run it once, like a quarter, or they'll stuff it completely. The AI just stuffs it, no matter if it's a computer player or a, or a human player. They'll just stuff it. <coughs> but we'll... I think we already looked at the boot slide. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, we already looked at the boot slide. I guess that's it. That's all that's in this. I'm going to do another breakdown. Um... We'll look at this. Why don't we look at this wheel route a little bit more? That was oh, I should hit the wheel. See, I, I'm I'm still. It's just I kind of took time off from the game. I was really good at hitting wheel routes, and then I took time off from the game, and then I kind of got worse at hitting hitting these those those. This is a run and shoot concept, I think, and I just haven't. I've kind of lost some of my luster on that on those types of plays, but 
I know it's a good play. I'm just not very good at running it. There we go. There's the dig. Dig wide open. Run it one more time. Then I'll end the video. I'll do another breakdown here in just a few. There we go. Damn. Yeah, super something going on there. That was weird. Dig again. And I'm going to do another breakdown probably on week normal on how I run it. 